Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is with great joy that we have tonight Pastor Everaldo from Vitória, a pastor that is well known from us. He's always supporting us every vacation. We are here with us. We're going to relay the word to him. I'd like to greet every brethren with the peace of the Lord. It's a great joy to be with the brethren in the service. I'd like to leave with the brethren a word that is in the that of, of Paul to the Colossian chapter 1. We're going to read verse 1 and 2. The brethren will listen. The word of the Lord says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Colos. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The church of a Colossian church, my brethren, was a church that Paul was not in the church with the church physically but he he evangelized that church from a distance through the letters uh, the letters as a pastor and even knowing this church from a distance he he is amazed. He gives thanks to God the Father when he saw in the church of Colossians a few characteristics, characteristics which my brethren, Church of Pompano, of Port St. Lucie, and Houston who are with us, Judging Camarices in Brazil, those characteristics that the Lord has given, He wants to see in us. Let's go to the first characteristic that Paul identified. He said the following For we hear from your faith. So the first characteristic that Paul is amazed and he identifies in the church of Colossian was the faith. And the faith, as the word says, is the firm foundation of all, all things. Amen? So now I ask the brethren, how can we as a church can pray so that the Lord may save, save us if we don't have faith? How can I pray to the Lord to save a family member? To complete my family and heal someone, the Lord opening a door, the Lord operate. If I don't have, if I don't have faith, Paul is amazed, he glorifies the Lord, because the Church of Colossians had faith, and we as a church in this last hour. We have this characteristic. In the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to a people that has faith. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The second characteristic, we also hear about your love with the saints. So the Church of Colossians had this wonderful characteristic which is love. And to illustrate this characteristic I would like to relate to the brethren who are listening to us here a testimony that I heard of the church when I was only 23 years of age. On this church a sister looked for me and she said and she said I can no longer withstand 
situation that is in my family, with my marriage. It is very difficult. And look, he stopped working, he became a drunk, he never have a time to arrive, he only comes home very late, and I get up and wakes me up to cook for him, and I can't stand it anymore. So then I'm going to do this the following. So the brother is a pastor now. The sheep looks for you and tells you those things. What do you do? When she told this to me, I made a plea in my heart and asked the God to give me a direction, a word. And the Lord told me, ask a question. And depending on the answer that she gives you, you give a, a word to her. And then I asked the question, Sister, do you love his life? And my brother, see what love is. And she said, in spite of everything that he has done against me, I still love him. So then I told her, my sister, uh, love suffers long. And so the sister is suffering through all this because you love him. Who loves, believes. And do you believe, sister, that one day your husband may be here in the church uh, conducting the praise, praising the name of the Lord? Do you believe that he may come down to the waters, be baptized, and be an usher, deacon in this church? And you know what she answered, my brethren? She said, I believe. So then I told her the following. The word also said that who loves is wait, can wait. At that time, I was only 23 years of age, and I told her, waiting is something that is very difficult. But the Bible says, I wait patiently on the Lord. Amen. So the sister is going to wait on the Lord. The Lord is God Almighty. He's a wonderful God. And for last, my sister, who loves his long suffering, you withstood all of this because you love him. And finishing this second characteristic of the Church of Colossians, two months later, my brethren, that man surrendered to God's feet. And then I looked for the sister and I asked her, was it worth it to be long-suffering, to believe, to wait, and to withstand all things? And you know what she answered? It was worth it. So my church, who are listening to me at this moment, we need to have this characteristic, the love, the love to, your, to our neighbor, because people are going to be coming to the church, to be in the church, and they want to find this environment, this nestle of love. Now the third characteristic that Paul identified on that church because of the hope. So the church, the Colossian church, had hope. The church of this hour, this final hour, has to have hope. The psalmist said, and what now? How, what should I wait? The hope, my brethren, is to be expecting for something that is about to happen and that is linked also to our faith. So what is the hope of the church of this last hour that has faith, that has love? What is our hope? We hope on the sounding of the fourth trumpet, when then Jesus will collect from the four corners of the earth his chosen ones to be with him on the clouds with great might 
and glory. Now, bring this short message to a close. The fourth characteristic that Paul identifies that that church was a church that would produce fruits. It was a fruitful church. I don't want to leave it very, very clear to the brethren who are listening to me. A church that has faith. A church that has love. A church that has hope will produce fruits. Every day, the Lord will add to that church the ones who are going to be saved. And I'm going to finish this message saying, Blessed be the name of the Lord. With great joy, I can say that I'm speaking to a church like this that has faith, that has love, and that has hope, and that has produced fruits in the presence of the Lord. God may bless the brethren. May God bless each home that are represented here. Now I'm going to relay the word to Pastor Ronildo, or to Jesus. Amen. Let's hear a song. Let's sing it together. Eu quero te servir Quando falas obedeço A benção está em ti está em ti
Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Brother, before we finish the service, the Lord gave a revelation that He wants to hear the brethren a glorification and a loud voice. It's not possible for everyone to pray, but the ones who want, they can they can unmute their microphone and glorify the Lord. Short glorification, objective prayers, but it will be important for us because we are going right now we're going to show to the Lord, express to the Lord all our gratitude for what He has done for us in those days, difficult days. But days like this are days in which we see the provision of the Lord, we see the hand of the Lord laid upon us because we are not lacked anything, nothing material and much less spiritually. The Lord has been with us, ministering the acts of justice of the Lord on our behalf. So each brother that want can be glorified in the name of the Lord. Lord, we praise your name. I want to praise you for the beauty of your holiness. We exalt you, Lord. Because one day we're going to see you face to face. We praise you for your presence in the name of Jesus. The God, we want to praise your name. I want to thank you, Lord, for your sweet presence, for your care towards our lives. Lord, we glorify you because your love is what uh, touches us. Our love is great for, toward our lives. We glorify, Lord, because we love you. Glorify be your name in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we want to praise you for the blood of Jesus has covered our lives. I praise you, Lord, because your grace has been enough for us. We have not allowed anything to be lacking in our lives. We praise you, Lord, for everything because many evil things are happening, but you have protected us. With your presence, your care, that's why we praise you, Lord, for your care and your love. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I want to raise your name high up because even though we're going to through a moment that is different than what we are used to going through, we've seen your hand sustaining us, strengthening us every day. We praise you, Lord, because you, you are our shepherd. We have not lacked anything. Every day you have provided all things. We praise the Lord because great things you have done for us. We can see your hand. We can feel your presence. Father, we can hear, Lord, your voice speaking to our hearts, calming us down, giving us the assurance that one day, Lord, we'll be meeting with you in eternity. We praise you, therefore, for everything. In the name of your loved Son, Jesus, amen. Lord, I want to praise your name. Because in those difficult moments, you have been with us, have helped us, have brought comfort to us, have blessed our lives. We glorify the Lord. Because you have taken care of our homes, our family members, we praise the Lord because you have fed our souls. Glorify, therefore, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we want to pray. Thank you for your providence. We want to raise your name high up for the fellowship with you and the church. We want to praise you, Lord, for the preservation of your people, for the care that you have had, especially with your church.
Lord, I want to praise your name. I want to raise your name high up. Because in a moment as difficult as this, you have been going ahead of us. You have given us wonderful experiences. Lord, we have felt the moving of the Holy Spirit in every service. We have broken every barriers so that we may feel, Lord, the touch of the Lord in our lives. I praise you because our families, our homes are closer to you like never before. Lord, we praise you for this opportunity, for this spiritual renewal that we are receiving in spite of every circumstance, Lord. We're, we're missing to be gathering together in the service in the church, but we know that you have prepared something special for all your people during this moment. I want to praise you and exalt you, Lord, because we have not lacked anything, and nothing will be lacking on us. Blessed be your name, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we glorify your name, we praise you for everything they have done in our lives. We adore you, Lord, especially for the opportunity that we have to be gathered even if in different countries where we are gathered because we are a single body and spirit. We are gathered because of this faith that unites us. We are praising for everything that I have done for our lives. Is a prayer that we say in the name of Jesus. Amen. Love, Father, we thank you, Lord. We praise you for your holy name for this wonderful day that you have given us. We pray, thank you, Lord for the manner that you have sent to us every day. Remind us that soon we'll depart to be with you. We thank you for the peace, for the joy, because of the, your Holy Spirit gave us. Glorified be your name, and raised be your name high up forevermore. Amen. Lord, Father, I want to praise you at this moment. Raise your name high up, Lord, for everything that you have done for us, for your great love that is unconditional towards our lives, because we can contemplate, Lord, how much you have done on behalf of our lives for those days, for this moment that we are going through. But we know, Lord, that you are a God as being made present every day. We can feel every day your presence beside us in the early dawns, in the mornings, Lord, on the services. We can see, Lord, the moving of the Lord upon our lives. That's why we have our hearts thankful, Lord, for everything that we have done, because it is a difficult moment, but we know that we serve a God that is alive, a mighty God that has not allowed anything to be lacking in our lives especially in our spiritual lives. How many experiences, how many wonderful experiences, Lord, we have had in your holy presence, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done. We know that we are not deserving, Lord, but your mercy is infinite, Lord. That's why we thank you, Lord, with all the love of our heart. We want to say that we love to serve you, Lord. We love to be part of the the wonderful work of the Holy Spirit that one day you revealed to us. Who would, who would we be without the Lord in our lives? We praise you for everything. In the name of Jesus, amen. <clears throat> Lord, we want to glorify you, Lord. Praise your name, Lord, for this, the work of the Holy Spirit. It's wonderful. In the work that you have uh, done in our midst for the blood of Jesus has been passed upon our lives every day for the preservation Lord of our salvation of our character Lord we ask and glorify you Lord for the blessings that you have done in our midst we glorify you, Lord for the body that you have taught through your spirit 
to be living, even though separated physically, we are united by faith. Glorify your name for our family and for the blessing of the Lord in our midst and for the revelation that not be lacking to any one of us. We see the manifestation of the Lord every day in the visits, in the group meetings, in the phone calls that we make to each one of, of our brethren. We see the hand of the Lord operating on our behalf. That's why we glorify your name, because we feel supported by the Lord. We are not alone. Lord, we are with all your angels and the Trinity working in our midst. That's why we praise your name in the name of Jesus. Lord, we want to praise and glorify your name for the condition that you have given to be in your presence with the renewal of your salvation for this hope, the assurance of eternal life. Father, we are not deserving, but through your mercy, you have guided us on this path that will lead us to your eternity. Lord, we are thankful for the salvation, for this our daily food that is given to our lives, that gives us the renewal and this assurance of salvation. We adore you and praise your name, the holy name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord God, praise and glorify your name for your cares, for your powerful hands laid upon your people. We thank you because you have not allowed anything to be lacking, even in those moments of difficulty. I provided, Lord, the food. I provided all things, Lord. You have taken care of our homes, of our families here in Brazil and, and in other countries. And we thank you because you have taken care of your people. We pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we glorify you. We praise your holy name. We adore you for your majesty, of your love, and your grace, your infinite mercy. We praise you for your salvation. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. Lord God, this moment we want to praise your name. I want to thank you, Lord, for each moment of learning that we have had in this difficult moment values that many times we allow to be lost. We are giving worth to the families, the services, give worth to many things, Lord. Because of this rushed life in this country, many times we abandon, Lord. But we want to praise the Lord because you have brought to our memory what brings us hope. We praise you, Lord, for everything that you have done in the midst of your church, in the midst of your people. Because even though we are going through all of this, we have moved our hearts to seek you, to be closer to you, to be united. I want to thank you, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord God, we glorify you for each one of the brethren gathered for the move of the Spirit in our midst. We glorify you for this moment in which we are living, for the return of the Lord Jesus. Glorify the Lord because this moment is prophetic. It's a moment that we are hoping for. Blessed be the Lord because Maranatha will be fulfilled in our midst. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, we also want to glorify you at this moment because in the midst of so many trials and tribulations, your people has light. We have been protected by you every day. We praise you for your name, for your care, for the care you have for our children, for the elders. We know that we have not lacked anything. 
We thank you to you for your care, for your love, for your care. We praise you. We praise you, therefore, in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. My brethren, still before we close, this week was a week in which we have many who had birthdays. A couple of sisters, we have Matthew, the youth, as I can remember, I think Sister Gilza, Sister Leticia, who else? Fabielli, Arielli, Camry. Oh, there are so many people. <laughs> so I would like to ask us to invite us to stand up. I'm going to ask Pastor Everald to pray for the ones who are having birthday and finish with the, the apostolic blessing. And the ones who are uh, having birthday in this week can kneel down and we can finish the service with the apostolic blessing. We want to praise, praise your name for the life of your servants that we're able to celebrate yet another year of life. And we say that it is yet another year in your presence, yet another year where we can feel your good hand, your grace, power of, of, of a hand of mercy, blessing, sustaining their lives, a gift from heaven. We ask that you may give to each one of them. Finish your service. Bless, continue blessing the, your church. I know that the days are difficult. We have a God that is powerful. It's a blessing God that can do all things. We supplicate, Lord, for each home here represented. Lay your hands upon us and bless the homes, the families. Bless your servants. And don't allow anything to be lacking to any one of them. This is the supplication as we give everything to you. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be here together as a church, as a body. We pray, praise your name. Pray to you in the name of Jesus. The great, the wonderful grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, a good and eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit of God may rest upon us, my brethren, now and until the return of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. I believe that the Lord has given a couple of spiritual gifts, but the gifts are going to be relayed to the ones who are having birthday. The Lord gave a revelation during the prayer, and while we were praying with laying of hands, the Lord is asking to say to His people tonight that in this battle we don't have to fight because the Lord will be fighting for us and our homes and our families will be preserved in everything. So this is the gift from the Lord to our lives tonight. To know that we have a God that is fighting our fights, is fighting our battles, and this battle is a battle where we'll be victorious. You know what? We will be victorious because the church doesn't pray for the victory. The church prays with the victory in their hands. Amen? I want to thank the participation of all the brethren, and especially here. I see a group of people from the church of Pastor Everaldo, a couple of sheep. I believe that those are your sheep, Everaldo. I see Marcelo, Sister Sonia, Sister Maria Agna, a couple of brethren here that I don't know. Maria Magna is my mother, Pastor. Oh, it's ridiculous, mother. I see a group, Marcelo, is with his wife. It's a great pleasure 
The whole family here. What a blessing. It's a great pleasure to be participated here in the service of the brethren. I want to thank especially Pastor Everaldo. How many services have been Pastor Everaldo? It's three, right? <laughs> three or four, right? But it's a joy for us. Pastor, I just want to reiterate, reiterate the invitation for Wednesday for Port St. Lucie. Look, this week, it's going to be a week, it's a busy week. On Tuesday night, we have, we're going to have a service. And on Wednesday, Port St. Lucie. Pastor Verado has already took on the commitment of Luciano, so boy. On Thursday, we're going to have a prayer meeting for the ones who need prayer. And Saturday and Sunday, our service is at 8 o'clock. Inside the, the meetings and the group meetings, the virtual meetings, the services are being transmitted from Brazil, Sunday schools, so we have our agenda is full. Amen. Pastor Verald, do you have any other thing to say? No, I just want to reiterate our joy to be with the brethren and to say that the Lord is with us. We ask the brethren to rest on the Lord and do the exercise of prayer, and faith, and hope because the Lord He has everything under His government. I know that the Lord is, doesn't have the worst for us. He has the best for us. May God bless you. We're perfecting every day more. Today, where a small, actually, a small flaw was translation. Wayne, we didn't have a translation, but we will be paying attention to those uh, details. So the brethren may be praying for the perfecting of those services so that many may be able to be reached through what is being the project of God. Amen? So I'm going to give the opportunity to the brethren to be greeting one another. I'd like to wish a birthday to the ones who are having birthday. Peace of the Lord. Não sei se o Wagner veio. Eu convidei o Wagner. Pai, Senhor. Pai, Senhor.